how are you guys? I'm Annie, your Chief Mom Ambassador here at Mom's Meet, and I'm here with Victoria. Hi. Uh, we're so glad you guys could join us today. We're super excited about what we um, have planned for you today. Um, but before we get into uh, you know, our um, all these ingredients and all mm -hmm. this, uh, the special recipes that we're going to prepare, um, I want to tell you a little bit about Mom's Meat who we are, um, you know, what it's all about. So Moms Meet is a large online community of moms who are passionate about healthy living, raising healthier families, um, you know, in a more natural, better way. Mm -hmm. So um, our community is really great. A lot of like-minded moms coming together, um, not only to try and review different products, but um, just to really connect and um, give advice to each other and be able to you know, get to know each other. So that's what Moms Meet is all about. I really want you guys, if you're not already a member, to go to momsmeet.com to join. It's free. Um, and again, once you join, you can sign up to be a mom ambassador and that will give you the opportunity to sample really great products like this one that we're talking about, Califia Farms. Um, our mom ambassadors are actually sampling this with um, other moms, with their friends. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's a great program. Um, you can actually learn more about um, how it all works on our website. So um, we actually have some really fun prizes to give yes. away today. So yeah, so yeah. today we have five prizes. Um, the prizes, the main part of the prize is this really gorgeous. Oh, um, it's beautiful porcelain travel mug. I'm actually again really jealous of the prizes that people <laughs> are going to get every time we get the prize, and I'm like, oh, I really wish I had this. I know. Um, and it's got you're going to get free cut free product coupons and um, some other like little goodies in there as well. So yeah. we're going to have five winners. Um, for your chance to win, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Um, Tell us if you've tried um, Clafia Farms products before. Yeah. Um, tell us what your favorites are. Um, so yeah, just keep commenting, liking, sharing, yeah. um, giving us your opinion on things. Um, we uh, will be announcing the winners tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST. And um, just let us know that you're here right now. So say hi to us in the comments. Again, let us know if you've tried the products. Um, and um, yeah, let us know which That's one's it. your favorite. Yeah, yeah. It's, easy, it's easy to, it's actually really easy to win. Yeah. All right, so um, I, I, I'm excited to talk about this topic today because it's all about breakfast. And you, you know, as moms, breakfast is a pretty hectic part of your day. You know, I mean, you don't have kids. Yeah. So it must be like heaven in the morning. You just wake yeah. up, but you all you have to worry about about is yourself. And I'm right? actually really bad usually at skipping breakfast, so this is really good for me. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm like terrible at having really good ideas for breakfast. I get really bored really easily. I'm not usually a fan of like cereal. Yeah, yeah. It's super boring. I like more interesting breakfast. So yes. breakfast on the weekends, I'm great at. That's yes. great. Yeah. Breakfast on the weekdays. I need ideas like this. Yeah. <laughs> and then with, with moms, you know, for your kids, I mean, breakfast during the week, I don't know, you know, if you, if your moms have any tips out there on how to, you know, make bre breakfast an easier kind of, you know, time of day, but, um, you know, you have to get the kids ready for school. And so a lot of times it gets hectic, but there are times where, you know, you do have a little more time to be more creative and fun. So we actually have two breakfast ideas that we want to show you. One is something that's super easy. So you could actually um, do that for like a school day, um, yeah. like a morning of the school day. And another idea is probably more of a weekend idea or maybe a snack idea yeah. possibly. But we have really great um, recipes that we're going to make right here for you. And we're going to be sharing the, the mm -hmm. um, link to all the recipe on our website too, so we'll we'll do that later on the post. Um, but as you know, breakfast obviously is the most important meal of the day. I get really upset if my kids don't eat breakfast. Um, my two year old is really hard to get kind of get any breakfast in her mm -hmm. sometimes, and it worries me when she's not you know yeah. when she doesn't go to her daycare um, with the breakfast. So um, that that's why it's so important. But each um, the two recipes that we're going to uh, to do for you today is um, the California Dreaming Breakfast Bowl. Doesn't that sound amazing? Mm -hmm. And the ingredients <laughs> are so amazing as well. <laughs> yeah, and this time of year, uh, yes. it just sounds like a, a heavenly breakfast. Um, and then a banana pear green smoothie bowl. 
So those are the two breakfasts that we're going to prepare for you. And um, as I said before, uh, we're using Califia Farms products, and uh, that's for sponsoring our event today. Um, all right, so a little bit about Califia. Yes. Um, so the name of this product is one that everyone always pronounces wrong. Uh oh, did I say it wrong? A little. <laughs> um, uh, we so um, they the brand has actually an Instagram video on how to pronounce that name correctly because okay. it's is one that you think you're gonna pronounce it right, but it's not quite right. Oh, okay. um, so it's actually pronounced Calafia, like California. <laughs> Wait, Calafia. 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 So. I even I said it wrong. It's really difficult. Well, you have a British accent. Yeah. So I just want to say Califia. Yeah. That's, that sounds right. But it's like California. Califia. Califia. Yeah. Okay. So um, the name is inspired by Queen Califia, who is the mythical namesake of California, which and is really cool. We think that's her picture right there. Yeah. So they have a, that logo is really cool as well. Yeah. I love this. Um, so it's actually one of the fastest growing natural beverage companies in the U.S. Um, I can attest to this. I started buying their products actually. About a year ago, um, and they were available in like one grocery store where I live, and like two products. Yeah. And now they're in like every grocery now store. Everywhere. Yeah. And there's like all the different products. They have like the big bottles. I've seen the small, like mm -hmm. one serving size ones too. Um, a whole bunch of different products. They have some really good seasonal products too. Um, so nice. I love them. Yeah. yeah. So what I love about this product is that they're very innovative. You know, I'm very focused on um, you know making really healthy, great tasting beverages, um, and it really empowers you to kind of go with a plant based lifestyle and um, living you know dairy free lifestyle if that's you know um, your choice and really not to compromise that. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, the company really is on a mission to discover and share what plants can do do for for health and also for the environment. So it's a really great mission to mm -hmm. be behind. I mean, yes. you know, what a what a great way to support, um, you know, our, our environment and mm -hmm. our world than to support a product like this. So um, for today's recipe, we're using two different products from Califia Farms, um, almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, and their cold brew espresso, XX espresso cold brew. This is my favorite. It's delicious, product. honestly. It's, so it's, good. it's really, really good. It's really good. And I had the coffee yesterday afternoon, and I uh, mm -hmm. definitely did the did the oh, job. Yeah. It, it gave really me good. some energy, so mm -hmm. so it's really great. Okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about. Yes. We're going to get to the recipes really soon. Mm -hmm. Um, and let us know, moms, if you've ever tried either the coffee or the almond milk. Yeah, if um, you're trying them with your brutes right now, yeah. what do you, what do you us, think about them? Yeah. Um, let the other moms know that's yeah. you know, attending this event. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so the, the cold, cold brew. brew. Yeah. yeah. So the um, XX Espresso Cold Brew is blended with artisan-inspired creamy almond milk. Um, each glass is soy-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, carrageenan-free, non-GMO, kosher, vegan. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> And it only has 80 calories per serving, okay. which is really great. Yeah. Um, the coffee beans are slow brewed in water for hours, and it extracts all of the amazing flavor from the beans, um, giving you a really smooth coffee that is less acidic. So it's not mm. bitter at all. Yeah. And that's just from the way that they brew the beans. Right. I love cool. cold brew coffee. Me too. I mean, it's, it, yeah. you can really taste the difference. And it's then so good. With this coffee, I love how, how creamy it is. Mm -hmm. I guess that's just from the, the almond milk. milk. Yeah. And I think the way they brew it as well, you don't get that bitterness mm -hmm. from like a lot of coffees is super bitter. Yeah. Even cold brew can be really bitter. Right. Um, and it actually has two times the amount of caffeine uh, as a normal cup of coffee. That's why I was feeling so, it like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I got home and I was like, it was like 10.30 and I'm like, I usually go to bed early. Yeah. I, I genuinely have kids that go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like 10.30 and I was like still You're wide awake. awake. And I'm like, this is really unusual for me. <laughs> All right. So then the unsweetened almond milk. Um, so this is great because it has a cal really great cal amount of calcium. Um, it has 50% more calcium than dairy milk, which is great, without the extra sugar. It's also very creamy, sugar-free, vegan, um, non-dairy, non-soy, non-GMO, and kosher, and most importantly, really delicious, mm -hmm. and only 35 calories per serving. So um, it's a really great choice yeah. uh, for those of you who um, enjoy almond milk. And it's really great to um, 
you know, cook with and yeah. make recipes with. And that's why we are, you know, doing these two recipes today. Mm -hmm. for you guys. I actually love this. Um, I make pancakes from scratch a lot on the weekends. Okay. And instead of using milk in pancakes, I like to use almond milk. Okay. So nice. it, and it gives it a really good flavor. Somehow it makes the recipe I've used, it somehow makes them more fluffy. I don't oh. know if that's like. It's because it's kind of milk. Yeah, I don't know. Milk. But it's. <laughs> So good. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So let's get on to um, the recipe. Yes. So we're going to first start with a California Dreaming breakfast bowl. This is so easy. We actually, um, it's basically a variation on overnight oats if anyone's had that before. So um, I love overnight oats. It's so good. Yeah. So you just prep everything the night before, throw it in the fridge. Yeah. And then in the morning, all you do is take out the fridge, give it a stir, and put it on your topping. Very so nice. it's great. Okay. So, um, we will go ahead. We actually have one here as well that we did earlier. I took the lid off that one now. So this is super easy. You need half a cup of rolled oats, which we have in here. And we're gonna put up the recipes on our website, yes. so don't worry about having to write this down. <laughs> mm -hmm. So for this, it's half a cup of rolled oats, and then you want a third of a cup of each of these. Um, so it seems kind of weird to put. Seems kind of weird to put coffee in this, but it's actually a really great idea. And if you want to give this to your kids, or if you want, if you think this breakfast is for kids, it's not because this, this is coffee in it. This is a mom breakfast. It's a mom breakfast, but of and course you can get the idea. Yeah. You can omit. The and coffee. it's got the, that extra kick of caffeine in yes. it as well, so yeah. it's like the perfect mom it breakfast. Is. <laughs> so you want about a third of a cup of each. Just pop it in. It smells so good as well. I love this product. I'm gonna give this a little shake. So when you're prepping it for overnight, like this is all you're doing. You're just putting in the oats, you're putting in both of these products. How easy is that? And then you just wanna give it a stir. That's literally it for the night before prep for this, which is so easy. You just throw it everything in, you can pop your lid on it, and then pop it in the fridge. So then we did this yesterday <laughs> yep. here, and it looks so. It, so it you could see probably it's kind of liquidy. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can't even really tip this view to show you guys. It's <laughs> like so liquidy, and I was super worried when I first made this yesterday. I was like, "There's no way yeah. that this is actually gonna work." Right, like right. it looks like there's way too much liquid in it. Well, today <laughs> it looks like this. So it looks like it like soaked up it's like oatmeal those, yeah, yeah it soaked it all up okay so you want to start with this in the morning and then you're basically gonna put toppings on you can really put in um whatever you want the toppings in this um particular recipe we have some chia seeds so this is half a tablespoon we're just going to sprinkle some on there you don't have to get you know too it specific have to be really specific <laughs> it's really like however you want it to yeah have. exactly and then you're gonna get some banana. It's about half a banana. Um, and I'm just gonna. You're gonna display it really nice. Just gonna display it really nice. We were talking about an idea earlier yeah. um, that if you're doing this for, with your kids and don't give them the coffee version, <laughs> um, you know it'll be fun to decorate the bowl with the fruit, like little smiley faces, mm -hmm. or you know, or you know something like that. So. so. Same thing with actually this other recipe. Yes. I did, so. And then some blueberries. Blueberries. That's how you British people say blueberries. <laughs> blueberries. I know, and I said banana as well. So <laughs> everyone here is getting a really great. <laughs> I just <laughs> love hearing you talk because of your accent. I just love it. It makes everything sound more um, sophisticated. Is that how <laughs> proper? <laughs> and then so we've got bananas. Blueberries, blueberries, and peanut butter. <laughs> oh, this is—is is that almond butter? Oh no, that's regular this peanut butter. This is peanut butter okay. for this one. Yes. So, right. um, or any kind of nut butter, really, that you guys yeah, have. Yeah. So like you butter. can make it. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. Good oh, job, wow. Victoria. No, can it, can so we good. show this yes. now? So look how beautiful that is, and it's and that's definitely... something really nice. Like I would be really like happy about making this at home and then yeah. bringing it to work and exactly. I feel like you get to your desk and you open it and you're like oh you it looks so nice elegant breakfast yeah <laughs> all right all right okay so in the next recipe we're gonna make banana pear green smoothie bowl um my kids love smoothies they ask for smoothies day and night and of course in the morning I don't I, I mean mm -hmm. I don't have time to 
stick some smoothies yeah. unless the weekend. But um, it is something that my kids love. They think it's a major treat. So I am going to attempt to make this for you here <laughs> <laughs> using this blender. So, so we've never used a blender live on camera. Before, no, so yeah. this may be super loud, and horrible. <laughs> Please stay with us. <laughs> okay. So um, basically, uh, you know, it, this it, the ingredients are spinach, a pear, banana, um, some almond butter, um, and then some uh, al almond butter, and then some um, slivered almonds for garnish, mm -hmm. as well as um, some of the fruits for garnish. So first, I'm going to add the spinach. So it's one cup of spinach. One cup of spinach, and then half a pear. That of course. Uh, already prepared here and then half a banana and um, almond butter and then um, can I have the almond milk yes Could you give me one cup mm -hmm. of almond milk so I'm putting almond butter in here just fill it too full okay Thank you. So we have that. And then we have, um, and then all we have to do is blend it. So this is the bowl. Okay. So, of course, you guys can keep, you know, going. Keep blending it. Oh, whoops, something <laughs> broke and fell off, but uh, you know, hey, just keep going. <laughs> um, so you guys can blend it, um, you know, if you want it more thick or more consistent. Did I not blend it enough because there's big chunks still? I mean, it's not super chunk. It's not super chunky. Well, if you want your kids to eat this, you want to make sure you blend it <laughs> even blend more it thoroughly <laughs> than what I just did. I mean, I kind of like having kind of a bite. Yeah. Um, uh, also, if you want the thicker, the thicker smoothie, then you can actually add other frozen fruit or even um, a few things of ice, um, mm -hmm. and that'll be good. Um, and then you um, pour it into a bowl, and you top it with banana, um, some more pears, and some of the almonds. Oh my gosh, I love the almonds. And then some chia seeds. Can I get the chia seeds in on mm -hmm. all of them? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the oh I don't think I can actually show we it. Can't very, really like we, tip it. We can't tip it, but it it is beautiful. Just so you guys know, um, and it's great because you can actually you know it's a smoothie that you can eat with your spoon. So do you think your kids would eat a smoothie bowl? You're saying your kids love smoothies. Yes, I think if I blend it really fine, uh -huh. you know, then they they would. They, they would. would eat them. Yes, I think they would. It would be I, really I, interesting to I see mean, like, out. how they feel about that compared mm -hmm. to just drinking it. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, they see it as a completely different thing. I think it's fun, you know? You yeah. tell them it's a smoothie, but it's in a bowl, and then you garnish it with, fun of you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could even lay out the different ingredient garnishes, and yeah. they can pick and True. choose yeah. what they want to put in. And you know how, how it goes with kids. They help you make something, and they're more. They want to eat they it. Want to eat yeah. it, you know? So... Yeah, but it's super simple, as you guys can see. Um, so, uh, you know, that's all we have for you guys mm -hmm. today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really want to, to uh, hear from you if you try these recipes yes. or, you know, let us know uh, in the comments if you uh, love uh, Calithia Farms mm -hmm. products. Um, make sure you visit their website at um, calithiafarms.com if you want to find where you can buy some of these, mm -hmm. um, some of their products. But it's definitely... Uh, in a lot of uh, locations yeah. where you shop, mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, they are a you know they are available at Publix and kind of your your t Target and Kro mm -hmm. and Kroger and some of those bigger retailer stores too. And yeah, keep sharing and liking this yeah. this post. Um, and then, chance to yeah, win. tomorrow three p.m. EST we'll be choosing our five winners. Um, so yeah, please let us know what your favorite breakfast recipes are if you have any fun ideas for this. Yeah. Um, let us know what your favorite Calypia Farms flavors are as well. Yeah. They have so many different ones. Yeah. So we can't wait to hear from you. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. All right. Let's try some of this. Yeah.